Hi, my name is Martin Aneth. I am the founder of Your AI Insider. This is a startup that was founded with the help of artificial intelligence and namely ChatGPT3. In this video, I will show you what steps I took and what questions I asked the artificial intelligence. In only five steps and 10 questions, I was able to define a business idea, marketing plan, brainstorm the name, and in the end, actually started a company with few dozen subscribers. Let's go. First, let's start with a bit of history. It was 30th of December. It was just two days before New Year's Eve. And I was thinking that I would want to start some new venture and do a small hackathon at home just before New Year's Eve. And I didn't have many ideas about what business I want to start. So I knew that I want to use ChatGPT to brainstorm the ideas. I recorded a live video session that was three hours long. So this is a shorter version of, of that whole process. The reason I recorded a live video is because I wanted to hold myself accountable to actually deliver on that after and execute. Uh, but this video is a brief story of, <laughs> of what happened then. So. Let's go. So the five steps I took are first, thinking about the business idea and brainstorming about it with uh, the AI. Second, brainstorming about the name of the business. Third is a business plan. Number four is marketing plan. And number five is software and technology. So let's start with the first, browsing business ideas. I asked ChatGPT, what business ideas would you recommend for bootstrapping a digital online based company in 48 hours. It can be software as a service and probably it could use ChatGPT3. So the AI replied with uh, several ideas and two of them that caught my attention were content generation tool, develop a simple website or web app that uses GPT3 to generate articles and blog posts and virtual writing assistant, create a web app to help write emails. So I was thinking, combining those ideas may actually be very interesting to start a new business. So I asked ChatGPT3 the second question, combining a content generation tool and virtual writing assistant, can we create a newsletter that is powered by ChatGPT3? And the AI answered, yes you could definitely create a newsletter powered by GPT-3. In this case, you would use the GPT-3 API to generate content for the newsletter, such as articles, blog posts, and other types of content. You could use the GPT-3 API to assist with writing the newsletter itself, such as suggesting headlines, subheadings, and even entire sections of content. You could offer the newsletter as a monthly or weekly subscription service and charge users a fee for access. Very good. I think we are very much on the right path because starting a newsletter is something that is definitely entering within the realm of digital services and it's something that can be automated with the help of AI. Step number two, brainstorming the name. Question three, can you suggest 10 names for such AI newsletter? And here is what ChatGPT provided. Several examples, some of which included GPT-3 Digest, the AI Reporter, the Automated Insider, the GPT-3 Gazette, the AI Edition, and my favorite, the AI Powered Insider. So I think probably we're gonna go with this one. Step number three, business plan. I asked ChatGPT about the company purpose and the product, and did it deliver? So the fourth question I asked is, can you create a business plan for this newsletter? The AI newsletter, it answered, is a monthly subscription-based service that uses GPT-3 API to generate articles, blog posts, and other types of content relevant to a specific niche or industry. Then it suggested market analysis. There is a growing demand for high quality content that is relevant and valuable to busy professionals. Our target audience is professionals in a specific niche or industry who are looking for a quick and efficient way to stay up to date with the latest news and trends. A small problem is that ChatGPT3 cannot read the news really. It has knowledge which is based until September 2021, so it cannot go out there and fetch the news, but I guess we'll need to find a way to work around that. But it definitely can be helpful to summarize this news and to provide 
a summary of several articles to, together and to write its own blog posts. So why not? About financial projections, it suggested that the revenue model is based on monthly subscription with a target price point of $19.99 per month. So if it is a newsletter for $20, I am really not sure that people would want to receive one email for 20 bucks a month. So we may need to tweak that. The AI goes like this. Based on market research and competitive analysis, we project that we will have 10,000 paying subscribers within the first year, 20,000 subscribers within the second year, and 30,000 subscribers within the third year. Our projected monthly operating expenses are $10,000, which includes salaries, hosting costs, and marketing expenses. Poof, wow, that's pretty steep. I think in the very beginning, it would be probably just me and we can keep the costs lower, but the prospect of having several thousand subscribers is definitely interesting. So in conclusion, the AI said that the newsletter has the potential to be a valuable and efficient resource for busy professionals in a specific niche or industry. By leveraging the power of GPT-3, we aim to provide our subscribers with the latest news and insights in an engaging and easily digestible format. Okay, question five. Based on the previous answer, I wanted to know if I could change the financial planning and provide emails weekly instead of monthly uh, and probably charge less. So I asked ChatGPT, how would the financial projections be affected if we do weekly editions and can we charge less? ChatGPT replied, if you switch to a weekly edition of the AI newsletter, your financial projections could potentially be affected in the following ways. Increased subscriber acquisition costs, producing a weekly newsletter may require additional marketing expenses to reach new subscribers on a more frequent basis. Second, lower monthly subscription price. If you switch to a weekly edition, you may choose to offer a lower monthly subscription price to $9.99 per month. Increased subscribers retention costs. If you switch to a weekly edition, you may need to invest in additional customer support and retention initiatives to keep subscribers engaged and interested in the newsletter. So I was wondering, if we go with a freemium model, what features would be marked as premium? And the AI goes like this. Increased content variety. You can offer premium subscribers access to a wider range of articles and insights covering a broader range of topics and industries. Customizable content. Allow premium subscribers to select specific topics or industries that they want to receive content about and tailor the newsletter to their individual interests. Early access to content. Give premium subscribers early access to the latest articles and insights before they are released to the general public. It suggested also ad-free experience, archive access and experts insights and some other things around. Part number three, marketing. I asked the AI what would be a target market for such newsletter. It provided several interesting answers, some of which are business professionals, busy executives, entrepreneurs, and business owners who are looking for a quick and convenient way to stay informed about the latest trends and developments in their industry. Knowledge workers, technical professionals, investors, educators and students and even digital marketers who need to stay informed about the latest trends and best practices in digital marketing and online media. And last, it suggested also healthcare professionals who need to stay informed about the latest developments in medicine and healthcare. Next, I asked ChatGPT, can you provide an example of a buyer persona for this newsletter? It went very detailed. It suggested this following buyer persona. Her name is Sarah. She's age 35. She works as marketing manager at a tech company in San Francisco, California. Sarah is a driven and successful marketing manager at a tech company. She has a passion for staying on top of the latest trends and developments in digital marketing and technology. As a busy professional, Sarah is always looking for ways to save time and increase her productivity. She values highly informative, concise and well curated content. I think we can deliver. Sarah, be careful, we are coming for you. Her goals are to stay up to date on the latest trends and practices in digital marketing and also to increase her knowledge and expertise in digital marketing. Her challenges are finding the time to stay informed and up to date to the latest trends and sifting through the overwhelming amount of information. Her values are high quality informative content and a convenient and accessible platform for learning and staying informed. Perfect. 
It also closed it off with the following sentence, which I find very useful. By understanding Sarah's needs and preferences, you can create content and marketing messages that resonate with her and help her achieve her goals. Next, I asked ChatGPT, can you help define the marketing plan and the acquisition channels? And it provided very interesting answers. For the marketing plan, it suggested to develop a strong brand and messaging, develop a strong brand identity, tagline, and messages that reflect the unique value proposition to the, of the benefits of the newsletter. And I think we can even use ChatGPT to do that. Then it suggested to define the target audience, such as the buyer persona described above, and for content marketing, it suggested to develop a marketing strategy that provides valuable and informative content to the target audience. This can include blog posts, white papers, ebooks, webinars, and social media posts. Also, it suggested influencer marketing, email marketing, paid advertisements such as Google AdWords, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, and etc. Step number five, software and tech recommendations. I asked the AI. Can you recommend software architecture? And I also share that I'm comfortable with using Python, Django, and Amazon Web Services. Here is what it replied. Frontend, use Django to develop the frontend of the AI newsletter. The frontend should be designed to be user-friendly, responsive, and accessible. For the backend, use Django and AWS. Database, you can use Amazon Relational Database Services, also called RDS. Amazon DynamoDB to store uh, subscriber information and newsletter data and also suggested that these databases are highly scalable and secure and provide seamless integration with the rest of the AWS ecosystem. For emails, it suggested to use Amazon Simple email service or another email delivery service to send the newsletters. Content generation, very kindly, it suggested to use OpenAI's GPT-3 API to generate content for the newsletter. It suggested that we can also integrate the API with the backend of the application to dynamically generate articles and other content based on subscribers' interests and preferences. Serverless architecture. Use AWS Lambda and API Gateway to build a serverless architecture for the newsletter. So I'm not exactly sure why it suggested serverless because it also suggested Django and if we have Django running, we probably wouldn't need AWS Lambda. So. I asked it to skip the AWS Lambda for now and to provide CloudFormation script for generating the above mentioned stack. It created a YAML file that is a template for pretty big part of the infrastructure that it suggested itself. It suggested uh, the whole installation of the relational database instance with all the settings for the name, username and password for EC2 instance or Elastic Compute Cloud, basically a virtual machine the security group for the server, the S3 bucket or simple storage service for storing static files and content. So what's left is actually just to build it. So in the next video, I will show to you how I built the AI Insider with the email newsletters, how they look like and how the whole website is working. So stay tuned. See ya. Oh, and of course, if you like that video, you can press the like button and if you want to know how that story continues and what is the service that I built, how it looks like and follow all these stories, please consider subscribing. That would help me a lot. Thank you.